Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Back 40. Uh, today we're going to be making some chairs. Um, it's not something that I guess would be normally on this channel or whatever, but uh, you know, that's the thing. We always do something different, you know, so if you like some of the videos, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe. You don't know what you're going to get around here. So anyways, um, I made these chairs and people always ask me where I got them and I'm like, oh, I made them. So I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. So. I'm going to show you guys how to make them. Um, I'm not exactly going to make that style with the, with the high top on the back like that. Um, I already have two of those. So it's kind of like the king and queen. And then this one right here is what I'm going to show you how to make today. It's pretty easy. Um, you know, you take, I think it takes three two by fours and three one by sixes to make the chair. Um, right now it looks pretty plain. Um, you know, kind of looks like a garden style chair or something like that, but after you beat it up and everything, you know, make it look really old and I'll show you how to do that in another video. You got little finger rests in there for your hands, you know, your fingers kind of go right in those little grooves right there. So, but yeah, pretty fun to do. I like building stuff. So without further ado, we're going to build us some chairs, man. So we've got our 244 inch pieces for the back legs, our 225 inch pieces for the front legs, and 219 inch pieces, 12 inches from the bottom. Um, and now we're going to screw those up and then we'll be able to put the supports in it'll stand by itself. Uh, so it totally helps to have two drills when you're doing this, one for pre-drilling uh, and then the other one for screwing in. It's always a good idea to uh, pre-drill your holes so you don't split the wood or nothing. You want to sink them in uh, just a little bit so when you stain it and stuff, you know, won't be ripping your sponges and sanding and stuff. Make sure I didn't lose my mark on 12 inches. That looks good. If you're not your 12 inches, you're going to get it so your uh, chair rocks a little bit. Yeah, building stuff is fun. I don't care what it is. Uh, I just like building stuff, uh, I don't like following directions or anything like that, you know, trying to put together a barbecue grill or something like that, no way. But coming up with your own stuff is pretty fun. Alright, so we got the front and the back together. Now we're just going to flip them up and put it together, see how it goes. All right, now we're gonna take our uh, 18 inches and we're going to set it up kind of like this. So it's gonna go like this, these are gonna be screwed in. And then after those are screwed in, I can just sit this on top like that and we'll be ready to stand it up. So, put these couple screws in. Good to make sure that this is going to be flush because that's where you're going to be sitting. This part right here is where you're going to want to make sure it's really level. Alright, put the other half on and we're good to go. Just make sure we get the 12 inch part on the bottom. And I'm going to screw it up 12 inches. Basically, uh, 
Yeah, if you have any crappy wood, you know, like a big split in it like that and stuff, just use it in a spot where you're not going to see it. So you're going to take your last 18 inch piece. I'm just going to go in the middle here for like a, you know, middle support for a chair. So I always just want to kind of 19, so nine and a half inches. About here's the sun. About there. So I just want to get close to the center. It's going to be perfect. It's not building to watch, you know. Alright, so for the arms, you know, you're going to end up cutting out a chunk like that. I'll mark it here. I'll measure back inch and a half to here, which is the width of this. Put back here and cut it with the uh, jigsaw. Alright, so I cut these sides off with a uh, jigsaw real quick. Um, so what they do is they just slide into the corner like that. Um, I just want to get this flush right here, this front arm, give that a tap in there, make sure she flush. Alright, so I just wanted to get that one screw in there so I can kind of get her level. Alright, right about there, give it up just an inch. Remember though, you're not building a watch, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember to countersink your screws a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. A little dab will do you. Alright. There it is without the butt rest and the back rest. Uh, I'll cut those pieces real quick and we'll throw those on. Alright, so I got my 3 at 21 inches on there. And this last one, there's gonna be a void on the side. So I just put my wood on like this, put my mark right there, and then I'm going to just rip it on the table saw. So we got this piece cut, put it in there, fits like a charm. Make sure everything is nice and flush up to the front. The front is the most important. Obviously the back isn't as much. So now we can start zipping them up. And I'm going to move to a smaller screw since I'm going through a lot skinnier of a material. All right, now we're going to uh, cut the back pieces. Well, I cut the back pieces, uh, three of them at 25 inches. Um, so right now what I'm working on, those are not, you know, uh, screwed in or nothing. They're just kind of sitting there, you know. Uh, but right now what I'm working on is I got this piece in the back and that's gonna be for the top back support. And then I'm gonna make one on the bottom for that too. So, but what I'm trying to do is make sure that there's a nice, you know, going up along the side and then coming down flat to the bottom or not flat but you know kind of close to that corner there um, make it look as uniform as possible all the way across the top support is in now in solid these are still just sitting here um, I'm gonna tack them in real lightly make sure everything's nice and snug This one shaved up, fits nice. Uh, no reason I don't. Uh, you know, film everything when uh, you know I'm cutting and stuff like that. I just don't want to take up your time for something stupid. Nice. Look at that. 
So I'm gonna tack that to the back real quick. So now we just need to put a couple screws in the back here, not too many. Uh, one on each section should hold it. So I'm gonna cut the sides, you know, just gonna put my saw up and, you know, kind of just like this and actually, you know, just kind of up at an angle like that and just cut it off and however it looks, that's how it looks. So there we go, it's uh, you know, they're totally not perfect and it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be a watch. Um, we're just making a old looking chair, the crappier it looks, the better actually, because we're gonna beat the hell out of this thing, so. so is what we got. Pretty much done besides beating it up and staining it. But not too bad for a couple minutes of messing around. Like I said, it's like uh, three two by fours and three two by one by sixes. All right, you guys, that'll be it for this video, but uh, make sure you come back for part two. We'll be uh, distressing the wood and aging it and making it look all creepy and cool and stuff. So hopefully this is what it'll look like when you're done, if you build one. I hope someone does. If you do, send me a link, man. I want to check it out. But cool. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>